The National Drug Council's Youth Expressions Camp ended with a display of diversity of talent among the young participants this week. The closing ceremony was held at the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Base. Our Sam Thompson has details. You may seem fine on that first high, but on that second try, shoot, it will confuse your body, spirit, and mind. This is the creative work of more than 30 participants in the week-long Youth Expression Summer Camp hosted by the National Drug Council. Hey, so don't take drugs, don't pay the price, just be like me, be drugs free. And we don't need all the drugs, and we don't need all the crime. The aim is to use outstanding students as ambassadors within their local communities to spread the message that drugs and crime destroys lives. The youngsters are from New Providence, Grand Bahama, Crooked Islands, and Salvador, Eleuthera, and Exuma. Minister of National Security, the Honorable Dr. Bernard Nottage, at the closing ceremony, challenged them to be a positive force for change. But you will have to share your experiences with other young people like yourself. I know that there are a lot of young people in Bain Down who would like to have that experience that you've had, but they probably don't even know about it. So you have to share it. And one of the problems we have in our over-the-hill communities is this absence of leadership. People have stopped taking the leadership roles, and there's this culture of dependency. You know, people always, people waiting for other things, people to do things for them, to make a way for them. But look at the potential you all have. Look at what you have displayed here today. The United States Embassy played a pivotal role in partnering with the National Drug Council to make the camp happen. The U.S. Charge d'Affaires, John Armstrong, telling the students that he's proud of what they've achieved during the week. What I'd like to do is to commend you, first of all, on what you did to get here. You have proven yourselves to be leaders. You are now co-creators of that system. You proved yourselves to be leaders first and foremost to yourself and then to your peers. CAMP activities included leadership skills training, conflict resolution and community service, tools they will need to positively influence their peers. The National Drug Council is planning follow-ups to see how the youth leaders translate what they've learned into their schools and communities. Cyan Thompson, ZNS News.